This evening we are cross multiplying to compare fractions. This is also called the bow tie method. I've heard it called the butterfly method too. So what are we doing? Well, I'm going to answer these two questions today. What is cross multiplying and how can I use it to compare fractions? Let's get started. So if I wanted to compare 1 half and 7 eighths, and I picked these two fractions on purpose because you probably already know the answer. You notice that 7 eighths is very close to one whole, and so it's probably bigger than 1 half. And since you already know that, you'll have a sense of what's going on. So what if I mean by cross multiply? Well, exactly this. I'm going to take 1 half. There's my 1 half, and I'm also going to take our 7 eighths here and write that right there. So when I cross multiply, you, what I'm going to do is multiply right across. So here to here and here to here. Okay? So 2 times 7 is 14. And 8 times 1 is 8. Okay? So there's 8. I'm having all kinds of pen trouble this evening. So then you ask yourself, which is greater, 14 or 8? And that's fairly obvious. 14 is greater. So we know that 7 eighths is greater than 1 half. Let's try another. This time we're looking at something that's a little bit closer, 3 sevenths and 6 eighths. They're both fairly close to half. So let's go ahead with and start with writing this out here. So I've got my fractions ready. So let's remember, we're going to go across to multiply. So 7 times 6 is 42. And we're going to go this way with the other ones. And 3 times 8 is 24. So you ask yourself, which one's bigger, 42 or 24? Well, 42 is by far bigger, bigger than 24. And there you go. So here's one for you to try in your notebook. Which one's greater, 3 fifths or 10 twelfths? Go ahead and pause the video, give it a try, and then we'll check together. Okay, so I'm going to catch up to you real quick. Those are my fractions. And remember, we're going to cross multiply. So 5 times 10, 50. And then we're going to go the other way. It's not pretty, but it works. 3 times 12 is 36. Ask yourself, which is bigger, 50 or 36? And the answer is 50. So 10 twelfths is greater than 3 fifths. So what have we done? Well, we've talked about what cross multiplying is. It's multiplying one number to the other denominator and then going back the other way. And then how can I use it to compare fractions? Well, the bow tie method tells us that when we cross multiply, whichever side has the greater answer is the greater fraction. Thanks for putting up with the low quality. Have an awesome afternoon.